What's going on folks? Welcome back to another video. We are at the missile silo. This is part two. Today we're gonna be putting in floor, putting in cabinets, putting in countertops, putting in light fixtures, installing the entire bathroom. We have a ton of stuff to do. We're gonna get this sucker fully renovated. We'll see you guys down there. Shoo! All right, we are down here. Look at that. Everyone thinks it looks like a, like a bee, the back end of a bee, but I think it looks good. I think it, I think it looks nice. Anyway, so if you guys missed the first episode, you're really far behind. This place looked like a total disaster. Got it all cleaned up. We got the kitchen area ready, bathroom, walk-in pantry. We painted this, cleaned up the floor, and a ton got done. You guys saw Jake and I went on a 48 hour survival challenge. While we did that, Papa Beefcake and the crew were working here, getting stuff done. So they ended up taking a bunch of this stuff out. There was, you guys saw a ton of like big fixtures. They hauled everything out. They got a bunch of the flooring brought in through the escape hatch, so a bunch of it got kind of lowered down, so this is ready. We put it in here early, so that way it could get acclimated to the temperature of the room, so you don't have any expanding and contracting like we had in the off-grid cabin at the house. The other thing that got done in the bathroom here were the shower you got the shower stall the walls the pan so this is as you can see this is where the shower is going to be the toilet's going to be over here the vanity is going to be over here the other thing we had to do for the plumbing is we actually had to plasma cut through the floor in order to get the plumbing ran through here so there was plumbing down under underneath everything that was ran to the big cast iron tub that was some for some reason in the middle of the room so we moved all the plumbing to the other side and then cut through the floor and re-ran it up into the bathroom and into the kitchen where this is going to be where the actual sink is right here. So then today what we're going to do is we are going to get this floor started, installed. We're also going to get the cabinets in, the uppers, the lowers. Then we're going to work on the light fixtures. You can tell we've got lights just placed everywhere in the building. We've got the wire pretty much ran. We still need to run a little bit more and then we're going to get the light fixtures in. So we're going to have full power, full light. By the end of today's episode, we should have the full kitchen, the countertops, the all of the drawers, and then over in the bathroom, we should be basically having the vanity, which we actually reused the vanity, save a little bit of money. There was a, a, a basically a standing vanity that was already here that we got painted that's going to go here. So bathroom, the kitchen, the floor, the lights. By the end of today's episode, this place will be pretty much livable minus appliances and minus furniture. So you guys stay tuned. All right, first thing on the list, this guy. We've been talking about this since the day we bought it. This thing, this thing's gotta go. <laughs> Come on, you gotta do it. Everyone's saying it's gonna be super loud. Is that, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty loud? It probably weighs probably a good 200. It sounds dense. We're not keeping the cast iron top. Why you put it in the middle of the room, I don't know. But this thing, first thing on our list today, this thing's gotta go. Is this the proper technique or not? I don't know. All right. That's done. Let's get it out of here. Shoo! Tub is gone. World's heaviest tub. Now that that's out of the way, we are ready to start flooring. We're about to start that. And we've got to carry in a bunch of cabinets from up there, bring them in here, and put them up there. Stay tuned.
Uppers are up. You know, they're up. Bam, we've got refrigerator, microwave, sink right here. We obviously have knobs and everything, but cheapo didn't get soft clothes. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, we gotta cut corners corner when we can, man. I mean, the thing's freaking yellow and black. I mean, are people yeah. really gonna care? I don't know, maybe they will. Update on the floor. We're uh, looking amazing. Over here, though, we have no floor. So, we wanted to get the uppers up while they were doing there. Now, we gotta get out of their way. Because as they kind of come through here, they're gonna start doing the kitchen. So we gotta kind of clear all this out. There's a bunch of big stuff over here. Stoves, fire, these things. I mean, these are... I don't know how much that weighs, that's a lot. I can't even budget. We basically gotta get this out, all this stuff out of the way while they get the floor done. So stay tuned. Oh, what is this? It's a bird. There's two of them, three of them, four of them. Where at? Poor guy. Look at the hills. He got smoked. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a whole there's a whole family of them in there. That's a different, oh, that's a robin. Where at? Yeah, we gotta get rid of this sucker. I don't know how to, I don't know how we're gonna move all this stuff. <laughs> Wish us luck. No way we're getting that up the stairs. We're just gonna leave it right here. Lawn ornament. In case you want to heat the hallway. We're just looking, we're just looking out for the next guy. It is time for lights, folks. We just got all the heavy stuff moved up and out. For sure OSHA approved that little winch mechanism. I only dropped it on my toe twice. We're still good. Uh, but it is time for some lights. So we've got these really sweet looking lights like this. that are gonna go up in the ceiling. And we got one, two, three, four of them. One to light the dining, the kitchen, the theater, and the bedroom. But right now we're stripping wires, getting it all pulled. You can see these here. So we pulled all the wire here. Now we gotta strip them and mount them. And then hopefully we don't have to have all these freaking lights everywhere casting shadows. It'd be It'd nice to have cool real light in here. Lights in here yeah. Turn it on. It's going to be sweet. So, all right, let's get this lights up. Look at, I had to make everybody stop working for that. Hey, hey, turn that back on. Uh, the breaker pop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait, we got such a great moment going. All right, well, we'll minor difficulties here. <laughs> Let's get all the lights on for everybody. So. All right, back to work, back to work. All right, now we got lights. Everybody's back to work, back to work. So now we got to start setting the bottom cabinets. We did the upper set the bottoms, and we got the floor about 50% 
there. Let's build this kitchen. Folks, look at this. The floor looks amazing. It is the next day. We are gonna get ready to keep going. Get this sucker finished. You guys saw we got the cabinets somewhat in place, ready to rock and roll. We just got the countertops down here, so those are gonna go in today. But the floor, I mean, when you walk in, see, all you guys were hating on the black ceiling, which I'm not saying you guys were wrong. It definitely makes everything dark, but I think it hides the foam look a lot better. You kind of look past it, but look at this. I mean, to me, it still looks like an apartment. Yes, it's a little, you know, dungeony, but I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm still rocking with the black ceiling. We could have done white. We could have done something lighter. But I, like, I think this looks worse than that. Like, you can see all the imperfections way more, and I thought the ceiling would look a little bit better. Plus, I think it ties in to the column, and all you guys were saying it looks like a bee's butt. You're not wrong, but I still think it looks really good. So we are going to finish the kitchen today. We are going to try to get some of the bathroom hooked up, the toilet, the vanity, the sink, the cooktop, uh, the knobs for that should be in today as well. Um, and we're gonna get this thing ready and then hopefully we got just one more episode which will be putting in the appliances, the refrigerator, hanging the projector, the projection screen, the couches, the beds, the kitchen table. We were just talking maybe air hockey table, foosball table, pool table, something. Something we can get down here. That's the biggest thing. We gotta figure out what's lightweight or that comes in a bunch of pieces that we could assemble. And then the missile silo will be fully renovated. So, that being said, get these countertops in the kitchen. Stay tuned. here folks this is looking good we got countertops handles knobs everything and cooktop is in it's not hooked up electrically yet we're getting there sink look at this freaking it's not hooked up yet either we're getting there folks but sweet sink we got the cooktop this is the give them the catch cook pov here and then throw banjo the shrimp like what hibachi chef <laughs> just like this this looks awesome turned out good Countertops, love them. I thought they turned out good. Darker color. Knobs look great. Cabinets look great. I mean, we even, we even gave her the old 45. It needs cock, but it, we did it from the road, as Jake says, from the road. I mean, I've seen that in HGTV at least three times. I mean, that is looking. You're talking Magnolia here. Yeah, it's looking great. I mean, that is a really, really good looking kitchen. We were only one handle short, okay? In case you guys are gonna call us out on this, do hickey. And we've got some toe kicks, and just minor details. We're not gonna bore you with any of that. Now, we're jumping straight from the kitchen. Now that the kitchen's pretty much done did, 
and we are heading over to the bathroom and there's a light that goes up there which we may or may not nice. touch yeah. here shortly real. yeah so i know because you're like Flo, you banded the cd black it showed up we're not done at lights all right we're not done okay six we got four right. okay six right there. we got six more okay lamps keep in mind this place didn't have a single light when we bought it okay we, no matter what we're improving it We'll add some lamps, some ambient lighting, There's but like seven lights in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say the bathroom's got a whole bunch. So we've got the vanity there, toilet there. How many people we got in my? I feel like everybody's in your house yeah, going. It's a party. Vanity. We got the the toilet and then the shower. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneak sneak around you here. We got look at that light and the shower, the shower head, right there. So we got some good lighting in here. Obviously, we have some cleaning up to do, but now we gotta start getting the bathroom rigged up and ready. Getting the vanity set, toilet set, and like I said, get this last light on, which I think will definitely help light up this area right here. It's gonna look good. Stay tuned. boys we only broke one okay you guys are hating on the black room just we, we gotta add more lights look at it i mean guns. just tons of guns a whole wall okay so now we've got the bathroom look we got handles i mean we're starting to get down to the to the decorating part that's what we were just talking about we got look hey how you doing Hanger. look hand towel. you got your hand towel you got your sink in there Old uncle beefcake did that one uncle beefcake what the all right it's okay we can fix that it's drywall any we after seeing that my house get drywalled yeah anything can get curved and mudded okay we got nice lights up there with hey how's it going nice mirror faucet sink with dual flush sink. poopy pee pee what'd i say sink toilet you wash your hands in oh there? Well, i mean you can't sorry toilet you go poo poo pee pee okay look tp holder wah bam and then in here yeah i know it needs to be just relax okay and then shower head light i don't know i think we yeah i think i just showed you up anyways look at this is shower rod, hey, yeah i mean right see the bathroom is about 90 percent there right. we just need probably a gap there and a gap there and i think we'll be we'll be there yeah got all yeah all the doors got trimmed you can see all that looks amazing this light that looks really good so we, we we're talking about adding lights we think we're gonna add another light you can see right where they're at it's nice and dark so add another one and maybe get another track light to put over there and maybe i know we just add stuff i just like that track light so much we might put the track light above the kitchen and take that light and put it over there because i feel like it just it looks homier like as soon as we put that up i'm like cool. i'm in an apartment i'm home right now Make so i think yeah the floor lights up nice and you can move them and angle them wherever you want so i think we might add one here take that light put that right over you guys right where it's nice and dark it won't be as dark in here all you guys be hating on it saying that the black ceiling's ruining it oh and then we have one last surprise jake's got the remote we now have let's see it bam oh, God, yeah. above cabinet lighting just for banjo's parties just for banjo throw a party it's got rave mode it's got everything i mean we got a ton done in this episode you guys saw the floor get done the entire kitchen get built look cooktop is in sink is in the lights are what are they doing anything? oh they're now they're green mode. Oh, God. oh there it is now it's a party yeah it is look at that this is awesome what else did we get done today i feel like we got we got a lot oh yeah we didn't show we didn't show you guys this we just we figured you know maybe it's not all important i mean all the base look all the trim 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 oh yeah and then in here look at all trim 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 bam well nothing really happened in here i'll be honest we gotta swap that light it's too bright but bam look at that 
What is that control? Uh, kitchen, I believe. Nope. Um, I don't know. Oh, that one might be the one oh. outlet up there. That's oh, the yeah. Oh, is it still going? Oh, God. oh I should always leave it like this. Party mode. Look at that. Yeah, so this light switch powers all of it. And uh, oh yeah, so we put an exhaust. So there was a little fan here. We got an actual like bathroom exhaust and mounted it here. We just need to wire it, bam, to shove it in there like that. And that's how you do that? You just they just it give it the little jam. Right. Hopefully the red ones touches the yellow ones. Those aren't in there. Uh, anyway, so next up, we have one more episode for you guys, and that is gonna be furnishing and appliance and get it completely ready to go. We're talking kitchen table, we're talking movie theater projection, seats, beds, or we were just having another discussion, maybe foosball table, air hockey table, something that we could bring down. But I mean, this is like, I know a lot of you guys were hating. I just gotta throw, I just gotta throw it in your face. Cause man, look at that. That is just, Sick. who else has got one of these? There ain't that many people on this it's planet that have an apartment underground that is straight up nuke proof. So you guys can comment down below, what should we add when we do the final episode? It'll probably be next week by the time we get it all filmed and get everything bought. What are we missing in here? I mean, we're, this whole wall, guns. The whole wall, we just, ton of guns here. Uh, and like I said, we're gonna put beds and movie theater projections, couches, all that fun stuff. So let us know what we're missing in the comment section down below if you guys are enjoying this series. Final episode coming next week. Stay tuned. Peace.